yeah. Pat stash. <laughs> I realized that I filmed and made my first period story video and put it up on YouTube and I thought that I had used a song that was good to go but I used a song that I couldn't use so anyways I tried to remove the song via YouTube and it wouldn't let me do that so then I realized I made the rookie mistake of deleting the event and all the footage so I couldn't just remake the video so I had to refilm it I want to put this video up. I think it's important. So I'm just going to remake it. So if you've already, if you watched my last video about my first period story, I mean, you can watch this again, but it's probably going to be pretty similar. There's definitely going to be some differences just because I don't remember exactly what I said last time and you can never tell a story the same way twice. So anyways, let's, let's get into it. If you want to hear my first period story, then keep on watching. I understood like what they taught us in class which is next to nothing but i knew that i was gonna be um that i was gonna start bleeding from my vagina which i don't know what i thought about that um and i knew i think i knew that i would technically be fertile and therefore could have babies so i'm 14 i really want my period i think i wanted it so bad because i think i think it was because all my friends had their period and I wanted to be a part of the group. I wanted to fit in. For a while there, I thought that I was some infertile freak and I thought I was terrified that I wasn't going to be able to have babies. I didn't even know if I wanted to have babies at that point in my life, but I was terrified of not having the option to say yes or no to kids. Um, I just, I think I just didn't want to be different. I wanted to be like everyone else, which is kind of sad to say, but at that age, you know, 12, 13, when all of your other friends have periods or are talking about pads and tampons and this, that, and everything, and you're sitting over there with your chicken legs and your mosquito bites for boobs, you just really want to be a part of that. And so I kind of, I think I just kind of felt left out and I had this fear of not being able to reproduce. Not that that's something I should have been worrying about at 12 years old, but it was. There was just something about like puberty and being a teenager that was very glamorous and I romanticized myself. I remember wanting boobs really bad too. When it actually came, I didn't know for that entire day that I got my period. And how may you ask did I not realize I got my period? Well, in my young 14 year old mind, I thought that all blood that came out of you, that all, no, I just thought that all blood in general was bright red because you know when you cut your finger or something, it bleeds and it's red. But your period blood isn't technically always bright red. It varies in colors. And the blood that came out of me that first day was not red. It was a brown color. And so at the age of 14, I thought that I had pooped my pants. I thought I pooped my pants and I didn't, I don't, I don't know how long it took to click that it was my period, but for the majority of the day, I thought I pooped myself. But at that point, even though I was so excited, and I wanted it so bad I didn't tell anyone, I didn't tell my friends, I didn't tell my sister, I didn't tell my mother. And I just started sneaking my sister's pads from where she kept them in our shared bathroom closet. But eventually she probably realized that her pads were disappearing. So I'm sure she said something to my mom. I should ask her. Um, and so my mom eventually approached me and I don't remember this either, but we had that conversation where she told me that she knew I had my period and I don't remember what my reaction was but eventually she started buying me my own pads. Actually, I don't even know. I don't think I got my own pads. I think me and my sister kind of shared our pad stash for a while. Um, so yeah, that first day was very uneventful. I mean, I went to school. I think I went to church youth group with a friend, all the while thinking, not knowing that I'd gotten my period. I just think it's important to talk about periods. I think it's important to talk to girls about periods because I want it to be something that is exciting. Something that's like, congratulations, welcome to the club, you're one of us now. Um, instead of like, leading girls to believe they have this like, dirty, gross secret that they now have to cover up and hide. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys shared your story with someone, even if it's just a friend, because there's something very empowering about talking about your first period with people and you can kind of compare your stories. 
So talk to your friends, maybe ask like your sister or your mom. It's fun to see what different generations, what they experienced. So yeah, thanks for watching my video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.